Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today in this video we are explaining about how do we provide an anonymous login to the end user. Okay, so you might be seeing few websites, right? Like uh, uh, we would be doing certain things and once it reaches to a point then it asks us to provide our username and password so that we can log into that system that means till then you are whatever you are doing is is all just like uh, you're not a, you're not even log into that system but you are able to uh, utilize that particular application okay so how this can be done through the Pega application we are just looking into that which we call it as anonymous login for example you can see this is an Amazon where I have not signed in here so I just want to uh, you know buy this product so when I want to buy this product and add to the cart what it does now it will ask us to uh, log into the um, Amazon website the same way similar way if you are going to work on certain things without login or you want to do it as a guest user you can do it but at a certain point what we have to do is we have to log into that application so this uh, is achieved even in pega and that we do through what through the anonymous login so how are we going to provide anonymous login so for this we require one application one uh, uh, rule so let's go back to the dev studio so I want to provide anonymous login to this bank app application we can see over here and uh, to, pro to do this we need two three two three things which in which one is one we need one access group so that the end user will log in whenever he is logging to that application he should have certain permission uh, go through the application to which application he want to uh, he want to utilize so once the access group is created we need one operator anonymous operator uh, so that this anonymous operator is helpful for uh, you know to uh, go through the application and then we need one rule which is important authentication service so where do we provide this authentication service where do we get this means we will have records in records sysadmin go to sysadmin and you have somewhere authentication service so this is where we will be creating so there are different types of authentication service types so like a SAML is there token credentials are there basic credentials are there but we want to create our uh, at service so that an end user can log into our application without providing any username and password so authentication type should be selected as anonymous and provide the type of authentication service so now we I created a bank app and automatically a short description has given over here and click on create and open so as soon as you do this one URL it will provide so this is the URL which we which uh, it is getting um, created so I will say this as this is for the bank app so I will provide the authentication alias name as bank app so now this is the URL which we need to check when I do this you can see now it is asking us uh, URL it is asking us username and password but we don't want to uh, we don't want to provide this username and password it should directly enter into the application so for that what we need to do is we need to provide one model operator so that model operator we call it as anonymous or you guess user operator something like that so let's provide one anonymous operator or we create one anonymous operator as I said you right we need one operator so let me create one operator so i'm creating one anonymous op anonymous operator for you for this and make sure you are not providing a developer portal or uh, admin access these these type of studios you are not giving to the anonymous operator anonymous operator should have only what uh, end user operator so let's give the end user access group so as i said earlier we need one access group uh, which is which is for the anonymous so that I am giving it as um, bank app users so if I open this bank app users it will does it will not have any other portals it will have only user portal and the base and the role as bank app user for only so this is how uh, uh, we created uh, 
anonymous operator and we will use this anonymous operator in our uh, authentication service so let me complete all the details of the operator so yeah, let me give me all mandatory things okay so this is an external operator for us it's an, a model operator right so model operator let's select use external authentication save it now this model operator we will be using it in the authentication service So now authentication service is created for us. Now how do we log in now? We can just simply take this uh, URL and provide this to the end user to log into our application. And if you look, it is not asking any username and password for us or no credentials for us and it is directly logging into the Cosmos application. This is how you create your um, uh, what do you say um, anonymous user okay so anonymous log into the pega application and start working on this so what do you have here now as now you are looking into the pega application right so in this home button you yeah sorry in this home screen you might have certain sections where in that section you will start selecting few things or uh, something like some operations you want to do but at some of the, at some or the other place you want to make sure that you want to create a case or you know you want to create a case or you want to uh, persist all the things in your application then that time you need to m ask the user to log into the system okay so if you look over here it is anonymous over here right so you can start creating cases yes go to click click on create and yes we are going to create the cases it is similar it is similar to that uh, providing all the uh, data yes it is creating a2003 let's go back to the dev studio and see where what is a who created this a2003 yes this is created by anonymous but there is no login username and password right so this is how we do if your requirement asks you that at some or the other point you have to log into the application then there is something some activity is there so for example if the end user has continued continuing his uh, uh, you know browsing his application uh, and meanwhile if the admin already created a, a login credentials to him and if end user want to switch uh, directly to his login credentials we can provide a py reauth gadget local action or flow action <laughs> and which can be configured on the <coughs> harness or you know into the action button or any button on on the screen where he is intended to uh, log into the application so for that we can use this py reauth gadget also so where he can provide his login details and as soon as he provides his login details he will be switching into the his operator id details okay so this is what uh, anonymous login in pega works thank you